Welcome to another systems edition of NCIX Tech Tips. This week, look at this thing. It's friggin' awesome. I mean, it's not Halloween, but you know, we're getting into the season of sort of the wrong season. It's Christmas, but whatever. Don't worry about it. It's awesome. Look at it. It's like orange and it's available in different colors and it's the Vesta 3230 in the BitPhoenix Prodigy, the ITX Sensation case that is light, portable, comes with handles and provides ample cooling for whatever hardware you could possibly want to put inside. And for $9.99, we have some pretty sweet hardware going on inside this little machine. As usual, we're going to start with the outside of the system. You guys are probably already familiar with the BitPhoenix Prodigy, the ITX case that exploded onto the market as BitPhoenix's first from the ground up case design. So first things first, it has a very, very clean front. BitPhoenix logo, five and a quarter inch bay, although we have nothing installed in there because let's face it, who actually uses an optical disc anymore? I mean, if you're not buying most of your games on, I mean, you can just have an external USB drive and you're done. Like you, you install Windows off a of USB, if you buy your games on Steam or some other online service. So we've left that out because it just looks so good. Ventilation holes around the outside edges mean that you're getting some ventilation from the front of the case, but a lot of it actually comes from the vents on the side. So right there, directly over the graphics card. Smart design, there's these BitPhoenix guys. They know what they're doing when it comes to gaming machines and they've shown us that time and time again. Another great thing about this case is the oranges match very closely. This is difficult because the top here is plastic and the side panel, that's metal. So in order to get the paint here to match the dyes that they have to use here is very, very difficult and actually takes a lot of trial and error. Once we flip around to the other side, you can see things are very clean except for the front I.O. So front I.O. is your power reset buttons, your um, headphone and microphone ports, and two super speed USB 3 ports. On the bottom of the case, you've got more ventilation. So there is a filtered intake for a bottom mounted power supply, as well as some screws that are bolting in some of the hard drive cages, at least the ones that have been left in because the Russians whole thing with this is the flashy and the furious that it's like goes fast like a car or something. So he took out some of the hard drive cages for more speed. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, okay. Uh, so on the top, you got two 120 millimeter exhaust fans. And if you buy uh, one of the first five we produce, you get orange fans thrown in for free, as well as the orange accent lighting that's on the inside here, which would be more evident in the dark and make your graphics card look cool. All right, back of the case now. So this is an MSI ITX board. I'm gonna go ahead, I guess I'll just unplug everything because that's how I roll, like a boss. Okay, so you've got a 120 or a 140 millimeter rear fan. We've gone with a 120 mil. You've got two expansion slots, although only one of them is actually connected to a physical slot. So that's just to accommodate dual slot graphics cards. So that's a 7870 in there. Wireless antenna. It's plugged into the wireless output. And in terms of I.O., you've got VGA, HDMI, uh, two USB 3 super speed ports, gigabit ethernet, SPDIF audio, PS2 keyboard mouse combo port, I do still like to see those, four USB 2.0 ports, eSATA, 5.1 audio, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, and to cap it all off, you got a Seasonic power supply down there, it's hard to go wrong with one of those. Oh, check this out, I didn't even realize this. I know, normally I end the exterior look with the I.O. But I didn't actually realize you can take that right off. That's a filter and you just kind of go like that and then, well, okay, not quite like that, but like that little switch on there. You just open it up and uh, you can see those orange LED fans now. Now it's time to rip open the guts. Now, as you guys know, this is a $9.99 machine and my personal favorite price point is somewhere in sort of that yeah, $1,200, $1,500, to $1,500, that kind of a price range because that is where you typically get all the best bang for the buck components. When you make those compromises and you want to hit sort of a thousand bucks or uh, you know any of those sort of more aggressive price points, you start to lose some of the value. And when you start to spend more than that, you start to lose some of the value for bragging rights as well. So in this guy right here, some compromises did have to be made. First thing I'd like you guys to see is when I take off this side panel, you can plainly see that there's a bunch of wires attached to it. That's for the front I.O. So I'm just going to kind of leave that there and I'm going to otherwise manipulate the computer so you guys can, uh, can see what's going on in here. So once we open it up, it looks pretty bare bones because, as I said, the Russian pulled out that hard drive cage so that he could 
claim that it goes faster. He, trust me, he's very cool in person. So there's our MSI motherboard. ITX board, we've got eight gigs of Kingston RAM. We're using the stock cooler, again, compromises to hit that 999 price point. This is a Z77 board. So even though there's a 3470 processor in there, remember that is a quad core, but it's not a K series, so there's no overclocking. The board itself is overclocking capable. So if you did step up to a 3570K, you would be able to overclock this particular system. I'd also recommend a better cooler. And it is the BitPhoenix Prodigy, so there's lots of room for awesome coolers in here. You can see the Kingston V200 Plus SSD, and if I flip the whole thing around to the other side, aha, there is the centerpiece of the system. That is a 7870 Hawk Edition card that is pretty much as fast as they get for 7870s. And not that far away from the higher end cards, especially because it is factory overclocked, has an awesome cooler, and is just generally a baller card. Because of the way that this machine is configured, this case is configured with the perforation on the side, it also gets plenty of fresh air from the outside of the case to keep the cores cool. Last but not least, that Seasonic. 520 watt power supply that we've seen time and time again. It is a non-modular power supply, which in this chassis is actually a better option because of how close these cages down here are to the edge of the power supply. If you have a modular interface, it adds another inch almost to how much clearance you need on the other side of the power supply. Whereas you can see with the non-modular power supply, we can route everything up here and then tuck the extra cables down here, meaning they won't impede airflow at all. At the front of the case, you just got your standard 120 millimeter cooling fan, although it can be replaced with a 230 millimeter cooling fan if you want. Now the conclusion of this one's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to say. Basically, it's lean, it's mean, it looks friggin' awesome, and just like a sports car, the extra seats have been removed for more sleekness. Now, I usually do this. If there was anything I was gonna upgrade about this machine, what would it be? So number one is I would wanna add a storage drive. We've got an SSD boot drive in there now. Unless you have a network storage device, which is an equally relevant option, or valid option. You want to go ahead and add a storage drive, maybe a WD green, something along those lines. I would also want to go with a K-series CPU and see what I can get out of this thing in terms of overclocks, which means you'll need a better cooler. Remember, this case does support liquid cooling, so you could put something like a Corsair H80 in here, no problem. Last thing is the 7870 is a great choice. However, the 7950 would be even better, especially, like I said, if you're gonna be doing any overclocking, I would pick a 7950 that has a good dual fan cooler so you can take advantage of that nice fresh air that's coming in directly from the outside. Thank you for checking out this NCIX PC episode about the Vesta 3230, and don't forget to subscribe. System so fast, so like. Except it doesn't crash at the end because it's stable because it's NCIX PC.